welcome back to the living room of the requests. Hello there. Where the variety never stops. Oh, Today's three. Well, <laughs> I'm sure it's been used by someone at some point in history. We're going to start with a metal song from the band In Flames. And this is a request of Liz's Elizabeth. And thank you very much. This is the first metal we have had in the That's whole true. series, sure is, yeah. which has been what? Over 220 songs, I think. Something like that. We hope you've enjoyed the recent collaborations that have come up on this channel, Patricia Harris oh, yes. Songs. Yes. And we hope that you've got uh, gone over to Tom's channel uh, to see that. But uh, there will be more. So stay tuned and uh, click yes, like be other and subscribe involved. to the video. Yay! And that's how you tell your friends about Living New Requests and they can make wacky ones, any song at all. Now, I will just say, Matt has gone, we couldn't find the music for this, so Matt has transcribed it. I have, but what Patricia is singing is not what I wrote because she's an artist. Oh, pfft. she's It's her cover version. <laughs> That's what it's called, isn't it? Cover version. A cover. Oh, this is a cover. but I know, gosh, it, it makes me think of all sorts of people and places. 
Let me tell and you. I, and I actually think, you know, contrary to what the layman An entire would, band and just, just, you know, that's quite a detailed track. On so. my 20th instrument. Contrary to what the layman would think, maybe 40th instrument plus, contrary to what the layman would think, I think that was a good choice for Patricia's uh, voice. Despite the lack of mellifluous, wide-ranging melody, it was a good one to hand to her for expressing the... Well, I've, I've looked into In Flames. It's very interesting. They collaborate a lot with a soprano who is a, like a fully-fledged, proper yeah. operatic soprano who does, you know, high-flown flights of opera. I love Europe. You know, people, you know, would, would, would collaborate. When I was growing up and you said you wanted to be an opera singer, it was just like people would just immediately vomit. <laughs> Like, if somebody was in, into metal, they'd never be into opera when I was no, growing up. Twain, sure. Things have changed. Or maybe it's just Europe as opposed to small town North America. Oh. Now, we're going to do a Get request. comfortable, folks. <laughs> yeah, there's 13 verses for this. <laughs> this is from um, what we, we call him fondly Cake Bill because Bill um, was pretty much gave birth to this entire series because um, he wanted to have his friends and himself all over the world as friends Thank you, Bill. to all isolate together and watch together and actually we could link the, the Bill concerts below because that's when we started yeah. these some people who have joined us recently might not have uh, scrolled yeah. back to April on this they show. were huge we did like an hour and a quarter full on live songs of all Epic. of Bill's Bill's favourite songs and Bill's friends favourite songs so basically uh, quite, a, quite, quite a number of people on this channel I'm sure are like Folk music, folk revival, as well as some original folk material. Of yeah, lots the of folk songs. Oral folk tradition. Lots so of folk songs. He is one of those. So Bill has requested. Thank you very much, Bill, um, and thank you for your legacy, which lives on in over two hundred songs. Um, great many of those were yours from the first those first monster concerts. So what did you what did you call them? You called them something. It was really funny. It was a term you said. You called them. A, I can't remember. I don't know. They're quite epic. Yeah. Anyway, tell them about this one. This is called Willie o Winsbury, and it is an ancient ballad from Scotland. And it tells a story, so we can't cut any verses out. And so Matt's just going to get very creative and just, just play things. Yes. <clears throat> Oh, was it with Lord? No. 
could bide no longer alone. And the king, he has called on his merry men, oh, by thirty and by three. Says, fetch me this willy of Winsbury, for hang. Very good. Great story. Very up its. Uh... Well, it isn't often that you get a king saying, you know, if I were a woman as I'm a man, my bedfellow you would have been. You know, he says basically, hey, I don't blame her for sleeping uh, with you. I would have slept with you too, which is, I you know, you don't get that do up that. very often. Hey, look, here's a Oh, quote yes, here's a story. Because we're this now is... moving on to our last song. Our last song. Request from my niece and nephew. Uh, Edith and Oren and they uh, must be Marx Brothers fans because they've requested a song from the Marx Brothers film uh, Night at the Opera and in this scene it's Kitty Carlisle sings and Alan Jones Alan Jones and there it is and now one of our very frequent viewers David, David gave us a story about Alan Jones first hand so Alan Jones a very handsome young fella Later, um, he was um, he had a restaurant called the Showboat in uh, Greenwich, in New York City. And uh, this is the story from David. He said, I once had dinner at uh, Alan Jones's restaurant, the Showboat in Greenwich, coming back from monumental traffic in New York City. The lady, my employer at the time, was cranky. And when Mr. Jones came to visit to see that we liked it, she was very rude. I excused myself a few minutes later to apologize for her rudeness. And he replied, that's okay, buddy. Glad she's not my problem. He was so good natured about it. And then he says, I believe he'd sung the donkey serenade over 5,000 times. Oh, so if you, ever, if you ever worried about singing or performing something too often, just think of the donkey serenade and Alan Jones. Well, Alan Jones did not sing this song 5,000 times. No, this is from, yeah, I've just said that. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Oren and Edie. Um, and thanks to all the people who are requested. Um, if you haven't cottoned on, if you open up the description to this YouTube video, you can make your That's own. That's a nice noise. Well, it should be animated, shouldn't it, when you open it up? I know, I very rarely look at descriptions, so I, I know what it's like. Um, so this is um, this is by Nacio Herb Brown, and if you saw our Halloween special, you saw the sneak. That was by the same composer. So there you go. Nacio Herb Brown, he also that wrote for... Come around. It's true, it's true. It says, moderato with feeling. Discord. 
the opera. I had to get operatic, right? Thank you so much. Orin and Edie, you so understand my voice. You so understand it. Ah. Thank you very much to everybody because, wow, variety is the spice of life and I think we got a lot of spices there. Very spicy. We'll see you next time, folks. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.